Welcome back to another video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to give you guys an update on the recent news around the Windows CE6 version. So a lot of people may or may not know, but that product did go end of life at the end of February, specifically February 28th, 2022. It snuck up on a lot of our OEM customers, but for the most part, uh, many of them realized it was coming because that date has been around for 15 years. That product launched all the way back in 2006 and it lasted 15 years. It went end of life the end of last month. So the question I get often is, well, what happens with an embedded product when it goes end of life? In the regular channel, you could do what they call a last time buy and you could just stock up on it and keep shipping. In the embedded channel, you're not allowed to do that. And that, that all, that's something that also catches some OEMs off guard. So in the embedded channel, when a product goes end of life, you're not allowed to um, sell or ship that specific COA sticker license anymore. But there are ways to keep shipping the actual product, uh, the CE6 image. So if that's you, if you have a device that's built on CE6 and you want to keep going, uh, you can do that. And the way you do that is through what they call downgrade rights. And so some of the terms around the licensing terms with the downgrade rights recently changed, and I'm going to cover those in this video. Uh, but for the most part, as you look at this roadmap, you can see the CE5, 6, 7, and the last version of Windows Compact 2013. It you have all the dates and we are approaching the end of support for Compact 2013 and the end of life for CE7 and Compact 2013. So um, let's talk about the downgrade rights. I'm going to flip over and show you some terms. So leading up to the end of life of CE6, if you wanted to downgrade and keep running CE6, Microsoft had a specific document that was called the CE7 downgrade license terms. And it basically said, if you buy the CE7P for pro version of Windows CE7, you could then downgrade and keep running CE6 or CE5. Now, what happens though, is just as this CE6 product went end of life, Microsoft made some licensing term changes specifically in the peg. So what you're looking at here is the program execution guide specifically the Schedule 10 or Section 10 for downgrade rights. And in this section, they actually changed this section here, 10.3. And in here, they basically said that if you want to downgrade, you have to acquire, it must be the most high-end version of the product. And so then they give a couple of examples here. So for Windows 10 IoT Enterprise, you have to buy the most current and high-end version and then you can downgrade to the older versions. And their last example here is for Windows CE, if you buy the high-end version of Compact 2013, you can then downgrade to the older versions. So that means if we look at part numbers here, if you were buying the CE7P, which is right here, you can now buy the Compact 2013 which is less expensive. This is the general version, which is the high-end version of 2013. And then you can continue to load your CE6 or CE7 image all the way to this end of life date right here, May of 2028. At that date, your world of compact edition seat window CE is over unless Microsoft comes up with some other options. But as of this date in this video, that is the very last time that you can actually ship a CE device. So please plan according for that. Um, and if you need to go past 2028, you might want to get with us here and let us start having those discussions with Microsoft and talk about options for you. So again, let's flip back to the roadmap um, so that you can see the dates for both end of support and end of life. And again, end of support is no more security patches. End of life, you cannot ship a product with that sticker on it anymore past that date. So you are not allowed to stock up on the CE6 stickers, licenses, and keep shipping your devices. You need to switch those to the Compact 2013 sticker. Put the Compact 2013 sticker on the device, load your CE6 or CE7 image, keep shipping. Um, and at any time down the road, if you need to 
re-image those devices with the newer version, it already has the license for it. So then you can load up to that version of license that you have on the device. So um, this is also downgrade rights only work for existing projects. So for any new projects, you can't downgrade. You have to start with the correct, correct product and you should not be starting a new project with Windows CE 6. Um, and then this late in the game, you probably shouldn't be starting a new project with CE 7 either. Um, you, should, you should be going with Compact 2013. So any questions, get with us here at Arrow. Thank you guys for watching the video.